Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to paint this really pretty flower mask and then at the very end of the tutorial I'll show you how you can change it into something that could be painted under two minutes for long lines. So for the first step of this design you're going to take the Krivelin Split Cake Fairy Garden and this is a larger version I made on my own but the smaller version is the same and will work just as well. And you're going to make a butterfly wing shape on your eyes and make sure to pounce it to get good color payoff. It's so beautiful and shimmery. Oh my gosh, I love this cake. I wanted to add some nice bright pops of color, so I used the Krivelin Harbin cake, and this is quickly becoming one of my favorite cakes. It is so bright and so beautiful, so just put that in the center of the forehead, and then I bent my sponge and put the like pink and orangish colors um, in the corners of the butterfly wing shapes. All right, to help smooth out the outline of the center piece, I just took a wet wipe and wiped away what I didn't want, and there you go. There's your base, super fast and easy. To add some sparkle, I put um, glitter everywhere where I put that Harbin color, and this helps differentiate the different pieces of the mask to make it even more dynamic. Now it's time for the details. So with a number six uh, low Cornell round brush, I'm putting a large flower in the very center. So that's gonna be our center piece. And then going from there, I'm gonna go up each side of the mask and put flowers that descend in um, their size. So you go from biggest to smallest. And I used white and the um, dark burgundy creamy color, which is one of my favorite colors also. I love using it for double dipped flowers. Also add flowers to the corners of your eyes where you put that Harbin color as well. For the line work, I used a number four low Cornell brush and the regular Krivelin white. It's a really nice, bright, opaque white color. I put in a teardrop and a swirl, and then I did staggering teardrops like the emoji face that I just did, and I think it just frames the face really pretty when you do this. Just stagger big and little, big and little. And I decided to add a few more little teardrops to make it look even that more delicate and pretty. And you're gonna repeat everything you did on the other side of your face. Just press and pull your brush to make perfect little teardrops. I decided to add a little element on my eyelids and I started with white and then changed it to burgundy, but honestly, in hindsight, I probably would have left it out, but it's your choice as to what you want to do. And next, take some body glue. This is the Krivelin body glue, and I just put little dots in the center of each flower. Make sure you leave enough time for it to get tacky and dry before you try to put on the jewels. And I put on little Krivelin jewels, and I was really impressed by these. They are very sparkly, um, much better than the jewels I'd gotten at Michael's. So that makes a big difference, actually. And make sure you go from biggest to smallest with the jewels. Add some lipstick, and this is the dark burgundy color, but I mixed a little bit of white in there because I am pretty fair, so I thought it was more attractive with a little bit of white mixed in, but it kind of helps pull the whole design together. And I decided my eyes needed a little bit of sparkle too, and I felt like that just finished the whole design off really nicely. I hope that you guys like this. It's a very pretty and delicate design. Kids love this design. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check me out on Facebook. The information for that and all the products I use is below. But let's get on with how to simplify this design if you have a really long line. All right, you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify what I've just painted on my face. So let's say you have a line of like four kids. You're doing stuff like this, and then your line goes 30 kids deep and you have to simplify your designs. This is how you can take designs you already do and take the main elements from them to make them faster. So 
what do I want to include? I want to include a colorful background, um, staggered clustered teardrops, um, flowers, and I want it all in a design that takes less than two minutes. So I'm going to show you how you can simplify them so that you can go really fast um, and use your own designs to do it. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so this is the rainbow cake I used in the center of my mask. It's called Harbin, and oh my gosh, it's so bright and beautiful. That was the first time I've used it, and I love it. This is gonna be one of my new favorites. But I wanna give you an idea of what the different cakes look like. So for Faith's design, I'm gonna be using Cozy, which is a warm and bright rainbow cake. Okay, so first I'm gonna lay down the background color. All right, so first I'm gonna lay down the background color, so I'm gonna start it just like I did before, except instead of separating it and putting in different, um, ooh, this is pretty. This is the first time I've used this one too. Instead of separating it like a, like a butterfly, I'm just gonna really quickly, close your eyes, um, just place the color in the corners, and that'll speed it up. Um, a great tip when you're doing minimal designs like this, close your eyes, sprinkle on glitter like this, the fastest way to put glitter on, boom. But a good tip when you're doing minimal designs is to use bold, bright colors because that's going to make the design look impressive even if it doesn't have a lot going on. Alright, so I'm going to take the teardrop clusters, which is one of the elements of the mask I just did. Instead of doing it down here, I'm going to make them a quick centerpiece for her forehead. I'm just gonna go up in a straight line. That'll be my longest one. And I'm gonna stagger them. And notice I'm using a nice, thick brush. This is a number six to make very bold, dramatic um, teardrops. There we go, so there's our center headpiece really, really fast. Um, make sure they all point like to the center of the forehead. And then we'll just finish it off with dots. So there's the, the headpiece, very, very easy. Now doing the headpiece, it, what it did is it gave our um, background color some good time to dry. So try to stagger out your paintings like that. Um, so now this should be dry enough to paint on. I have that same number six brush. I want to go fast, so I'm using one sponge, one brush, two colors, that's it. And I'm going to do really quick flowers. And I want to make them big because I want it to be, to uh, fill up the space. I don't want a bunch of little elements. I want very few big elements. Okay guys, sorry, I had to move to my iPhone because my card is full on my camera and this one's running out of patience so I'm sorry if it's shaky I'm having to hold it but we're almost done so as you can see I put two large flowers can you turn your head a little bit more two large flowers notice I did not double dip the flowers because this is a fast faced and ain't nobody got time for that so we're just doing white um, I'll do one more remember make them nice and big all right boom Okay guys, so that's it. It's a really simple, really fast and effective face. Um, smile. Yeah. <laughs> and um, when I'm in the zone, this only takes me about a minute to do. So sorry I have my grumpy child here. Um, I apologize for that. But anyway, that shows you how you can take elements from your more intricate designs and make them into something really cute and really fast that you can do with long lines. Okay, I will see you guys soon in another tutorial.